Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Y'all, we about to see if we can eat up in Burger King. I don't know. They got these new chicken sandwiches. Uh, what is it, Mexican chicken sandwich? They have an Italian chicken sandwich and an Americana. The international original chicken sandwich line. So it's the original, what's that? International. Place? International original chicken sandwich line. Yes. And so we about to see if there's not too many people in here so we can actually eat in here instead of eating in the car. Yeah, just the sandwiches. Yeah. I'm gonna order something else. Um, actually, can we make one, I'll make one of them a meal. I'll have fries and then. Yeah, say your health. Stephanie, Stephanie's wearing a hat. So, uh, her head's too big, but. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, we just gonna go right into it because we get right into it. We don't know. Tasha loves to not, she loves to like be animated and walk around when the video starts. Okay, y'all, so we got the international chicken sandwich line here. Uh, Italian, American, and Mexican. Woo! Yes. These are, seem a little scary to me. The Mexican one really seems scary. Um, which, really? Where, what, what are we doing? Uh, what, how, should we go easiest to hardest? What's easiest to I mean, easiest I feel like is Americana. something that we gonna like. Or do we want right. to jump right into the scary one? Let's do easy then. Okay. Let's do easy. It's always better. Let's to go. Easy. We're going to start with the Americana, y'all. We're going to eat an American first. Okay. All right. Looks good. We got everything fresh. So it's nice and hot. When I went in there, he was like, I bet you don't like the color orange. <laughs> I was like, nah, I don't. I hate it, actually. <laughs> All that damn orange you got right. on. So this one looks like it has American cheese, y'all. Lettuce, tomatoes. And mayo. So they're basically saying Americans like we well, eat like good. A lot of mayo too. Which That's why Americans are obese. <laughs> we eat a lot of mayo. Ooh, shit. Ooh, it's dripping, y'all. Y'all see? Oh, they don't put any ketchup on this. See the mayo dri dripping like that? All right, Stephanie already showed y'all the sandwich, so I'm gonna take a bite. All right, y'all. This looks good. I'm a little worried about the cheese though. Ooh, it's hot. Hot as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. These are only nothing we got? Yep. We got any bringing Um. Oh god. Okay. Now this is one of my favorite sandwiches, y'all, because my grandma used to take me to Burger King every day after school. And me and her used to get this same sandwich, so it's like in my heart. Not the Americana, but just the regular chicken sandwich. So the regular chicken sandwich just has lettuce. Mm-hmm. Mayo. Mayo and chicken. Yeah. No cheese and no tomato. I don't like this one. I don't like this one, y'all. The cheese is not giving. I do not like it. Let me try it one more time. The tomato is okay. I think it's really the cheese that I don't like. Okay. I think for me, it just needs ketchup. Because I don't like that. Let me see. The, the meat seems very saucy, but, um, let me do. Um, I'm a little mad, y'all, because I was going to get an original sandwich, but I was like, I'll probably like the Americana, so I'm not going to waste my money. I don't like this at all. So, what we going to do is move right along. Girl, this Coke is coking. The Coke is bomb. The Coke is coking. The fries are bomb, too. I just spit something out. Very hot. Make sure you, you want that one? I have nothing right here. Make sure you um, ask for fresh. That's yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it's juicy. Look at this. Y'all see this wet, wetness on there? That came from the chicken. That was just juice out of the chicken. I think it's good, but I would lay, I wouldn't get the cheese. Yeah. That's it. It's just, it, it, it don't go. Might as well get the <laughs> regular. Yeah. All, All right, right y'all. So now we gonna go with the Italian. All right. Which one you think you want like better, the Italian or the um, Mexican? I like chicken parmesan. Right. So. I feel like that's what this is going to be giving. Yeah. And y'all know I love spaghetti. I love marinara. But I think I'm going to like the Mexican better because. I. I don't know, y'all. It's got cheese. And it's just, yeah. I mean, parmesan has cheese. Yeah, but not American. 
This ain't Mary J. I think it's my turn, ain't it? Oh. It's white. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. Mm. Okay. This is it. Just a little flat, little hot, fresh sandwich. Marinara. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Somebody over here coughing. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> Ugh. Oh God. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh God. It's it, super salty. I'm telling you, that was too. The meat, the chicken right. is salty. Period. But then they add the, the marinara sauce obviously has salt too. Okay. So that's salt on salt on salt. You have to eat this immediately because the bread is already soggy. We just got this y'all. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to take this home. The marinara is not, I don't like the marinara. Ooh, this is not good. I'm used to that good. Uh, to me, it's not nasty. But it's not good, it's not good either. It's not good at all, y'all. I'm disappointed. Cause remember we tried their um, what chat sandwiches were? It was some chicken sandwiches. It was the, it was the crispy chicken sandwiches. Yeah, those the were rounds. Rounds. They were good. And remember that one in particular, the spicy one? Mm-hmm. That was so good. The spicy one was good. Y'all, what did Burger King do? I don't know, but mm -mm. That ain't I it. feel like their chicken these chicken sandwiches are very salty. So if they they're gonna do this, they they should put cheese. Cause cheese is salty. The lettuce is good. They need to put it like, they need to make it like a Whopper. Extra lettuce. Wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's bad. That's worse than that one to me. That's not, yeah. I, I ain't feeling that at all. I'm not feeling it at all. And then uh, the cheese looks a little suspect to me. Like the, you see the the texture of it? It's like almost gum. Like <laughs> gum mixed with, I don't know. That's not the right texture of cheese. Okay. We gonna move on. Go I did get a side Whopper Jr. Just to be safe. Glad I did that. You okay? I was feeling the sun. It feels oh. good. Okay. Last one. All right. Mexican sandwich. Last one. Thank God. Okay. This ain't gonna last long. This one, you guys has who is hot it has some oh, the pickle chips pickled i think these are jalapenos like oh. fried jalapenos okay and then nacho cheese nacho cheese <laughs> and that's it i thought they were gonna put guacamole on that i'm kind of glad, glad they, they didn't <laughs> yeah but i thought that's what they were on this so i hope y'all can see it i feel like they lazily did these sandwiches but okay I don't know what I did with my knife. So we're gonna just have to take a bite. No, I got it. So, just cut oh, it like this. It in here. <laughs> here you go, guys. She looked excited to do this. To me, it's like, um, when I, <coughs> 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 jalapeno went down the road. <coughs> oh, you okay? I'm okay. Um, no, when I first bit it, I was like, hmm, okay. It, it started tasting like booty. Um, <coughs> it's like a fart. As soon as I bit it, I, I felt nacho. Like I'm um, yeah. eating nachos, but it's like why? Why? Why did I want nacho chicken sandwich? That's nacho you know? chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the cheese is not bad, and the jalapenos aren't bad either. <coughs> Who gonna keep eating while they choking? Ready? Okay. Who choking and eating? No. Okay. So yeah, um, I, this one is just to me. It's like a why did you even try to do that? This was not a good rendition for Mexican. <coughs> you know. I don't know. I feel like they should have done something like a salsa. I don't want salsa. I don't want to eat it, but this is dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe they shouldn't have done it. Period. Let's just start there. Yeah. But if you were gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> they didn't put no bottom to this to me. Nah. 
maybe something else. Maybe not. First of all, the jalapenos don't have to be breaded. They should just be jalapenos. Throw some cilantro. That's not good. I mean, I don't know. That's not good. These these sandwiches are absolute fail. This one was the best one, and that wasn't good. Ugh, that was really bad, y'all. I don't think the chicken sandwich is really bad. I just it's not. <clears throat> it's whatever. I wouldn't buy these. The American one, I mean. I don't know. I like it without the, the cheese, y'all. Like I said, it's salty, but it wasn't bad. The rest, uh-uh. The Mexican one, I would eat it if I was hungry. <laughs> but the Italian one, nah. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with the Italian I would not eat none of these. Unless I was starving. On a deserted island with no other option. I don't even think I'm going to eat this hot on this side. The sandwiches made me just not even want to eat anything. I'm gonna take a bite of this. They didn't make this fresh. They just gave me anything, y'all. How you know it's not fresh? You know, hot. Tastes good, but it's cold. So, yeah. What is wrong? Oh. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're right. Oh. What is wrong? We don't always have to be perfect for the camera. Not perfect, they but can't we can't just be quiet. <laughs> I'm not, like, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, y'all know you don't have to try to show show them fakeness on camera. <laughs> what you do to show is something entertaining because you want them to keep watching. You know what I mean? That's what I'm worried about. Would you want me to be fake? Because what we do behind closed doors is not what we do on on here. I mean, we can um. I'm not done, but why can't they see the real how we really interact? You know what I'm saying? Because it's it ain't the fake. Over. Are you serious? Or we is this the point? Why would I be what are you talking about? <laughs> Cause we wasted time. I'm not about to edit this. We, we, let's just do the video. Okay. What? Hi. Alright y'all. So y'all if y'all tried any of these sandwiches, let us know what you like in the comments below. Until next time. Hey y'all, what's up y'all? <laughs> Look, I was trying to prank, prank Stephanie right now, so uh, I know some of y'all probably like that. This nigga crazy. <laughs> uh, I was trying to prank you know, her along with me. <laughs> I know, I was trying to prank her, but what do y'all think of the new fashion trend of wearing pajamas outside? It seems to be trending at this. When I, I see a lot of people wearing pajamas. I do. I do. And I'm well. just not understanding. Are you just that lazy, or is it a thing? Oh, is like, it like I'm, I'm buying pajamas to wear outside? Hmm. Or did you just wake your ass up, your dirty ass up, and just leave the house? Oh, well, I don't know because Elijah does that, you know. Um, he and he's clean. Yeah, I mean, he takes a shower and put on pajamas. He takes a shower, he'll <laughs> put on pajamas, and, and be like, "All right, I'm about to go." That's the thing. Like what? Not with me. Because I don't allow him to, you can't wear pajamas with me, homeboy. Right. But um, he'll go hang out, whatever, and he have pajama pants on. I don't like it. That was Stephanie's question. Is it a trend? Is it like intentional? Or is it, I wore these to bed last night, and I'm going to wake up and go grocery shopping in them as well. And then come home and continue to be in them right. all day long. I feel like it's a bad, very bad habit. Especially, you know, like when I was um, in college, a lot of kids wore that wore um pajamas not everybody it's just not At everybody school? yeah they wore pajamas to school oh but i feel like when you get yourself into doing certain things then you continue to repeat that it's harder to get out of a bad habit than it is to just have a good habit from the beginning you know what i'm saying i feel like and i feel like you also um you want to show what you want in life i feel like if you are outside with pajamas that's showing you don't really want much so if you go to class with pajamas on, a lot of those teachers will um, refer you for internships and scholarships and all kind of stuff. They ain't going to be looking at the pajama person. They're going to be looking at the person that look like they're going to be fit well in a corporate situation. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> I think a lot of 18, 19 year olds aren't thinking about that. I think they're yeah, thinking not. about, I want to get up and uh, go to class with pajamas on because mm -hmm. they're comfortable. But yeah, if you 
want to get hired somewhere or want to be referred. I'm, I'm not going to refer a pajama wearing person myself because I don't want them to go to the interview thinking they're going to wear pajamas. <laughs> yeah. But I would hope that they know there's a time and place for everything. We personally feel like, well, I think me and her feel different, but I do feel like similar in this. I would never, I personally would never go to class with pajamas on because I like to look good wherever I go. I don't mm -hmm. go to the grocery store with pajamas on or any of that. I like to look good to me. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I might not look good to you. You might be like, bitch, whatever you got on, you still don't look good. Right. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I like to look clean like and feel presentable yes. everywhere I go, you know? And that's just, that's just what it is. There, some people are like this, though. Like, there's, t there are times that I've gotten up and just like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the store real quick. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like taking a shower yet, but I still put on clothes. So some people are like that, though. I'm not about to put clean clothes on a dirty body and they'll go in like whatever house clothes or whatever, but I, I won't do that. Mm -hmm. Some people won't even leave the house without taking a shower. I will. I'm going to go to the grocery store without taking a shower. Only thing I do, I mean, this is just my thing. I have to take, I have to change my underwear. <laughs> I just, I don't, I can't, it don't matter if I don't take a shower, I gotta, you know, I gotta change that. That's well, like, this is, this is something I think too. If you normally wear pajamas, right? And then there's something that calls for something more formal, I guess. Uh -huh. Your, your next step is going to be like jeans and a button down when you should have been wearing a suit. You know what I'm oh. saying? Because you don't even, you, I, I feel like the, the pajama person ain't about to go and have a suit on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for the most part, I think. That's what you think. I feel like you say, hey, you need to dress nice today. And they're like, okay, well, let me throw on some jeans and a polo. Yeah. Like, no, is business dude. casual. <laughs> um, people are, but like we talked about the other day, things are, people are accepting things more now. That's maybe true. Because they don't have a choice. Yeah. Um, remember when tattoos were not acceptable and piercings and all that? Now, it's like... Everybody has tattoos. There's mm -hmm. so many people that have tattoos. I mean, even on their faces, and they can still get hired because it's just it's. They know they don't have a choice. If we make it kind of acceptable, the people are the does. ones that makes it make things acceptable. That's true. So, hopefully they don't. I mean, I if I had a business, wouldn't want my workers to have pajamas, wear be wearing pajamas, um, at all. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this into a, a vlog. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, y'all. So, if all y'all dirty people wearing pajamas, put on some clothes. Bye. Whoa. <laughs>